All right, guys, so perfect time of the year to go ahead and get that golf cart gas motor out of your golf cart and send it to me to be repaired. And why I say that is, is because where it's cold, there's really not a whole lot going on for us right now. Um, so it'd be a great time for me to not be tied up and be able to get your engine rebuilt. And for the entire month of February, we're going to do $100 off on the engine rebuild service. So, um, you know, the video that you're about to see is going to be an easy go engine, but we do try to tackle them all as well. Um, we do club car and Yamaha and the easy go. Uh, let us get you fixed up for the springtime and the coming 2024 golf cart season. Just give us a shout, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Comment if you got any questions on what we got going on here. And uh, remember that we always, always video everything from the time it comes in uh, from off of the shipping truck straight to my bench. And as you see, I got a motor sitting there now. Um, that one's finished and about ready to go. But then we also now have the capability of being able to um, pre-run these things for you. Get you a video of it sitting here pre-running. We send it to you, ship it right back out to you, and you'll have a fresh, good running engine. I made a pretty nice box here. So now that it's on the bench, I'll tear it apart find out what's going on we'll uh, write up an estimate we'll call you and uh, let you know what we found is wrong and you give us the okay to fix it we fix it get it all nice and fresh and cleaned up again and uh, stick it back in the crate it comes in ship it right back to you okay guys so when we unbox your motor this is gonna be my very next step which is to disassemble it find out what we got going on everything and once we get it tore down we figure out what we find wrong we make a video for you privately linked to YouTube video and then we make you up an estimate and uh, we send you all that information all right guys so there's the end of my next step uh, after after this process I get all my parts and stuff together and I put them in the cleaning solution. Most likely I let them sit for 24 hours. Take them out, hit them with the uh, pressure washer, bring them back into the sandblaster, get a little, get as much stuff off as I can with the sandblaster, take it back out, wash it again, and then uh, I go ahead and uh, start my reassembly after that. sit for the night and uh, we'll be back in the morning to 
get that squared away we'll get this crank and stuff cleaned up balance shaft there cleaned up what i mean by cleaned up is get all that rust off of it Is that I ain't too concerned about that right there because it's kind of a normal thing. cleaned up here surfaced ready to go we're going to get this work on putting it back together all right got her head back together valves in her ready to rock and roll back on the engine got our carb studs back in like i said next thing i'm gonna do is get the uh remaining gasket off of the ceiling surface of the block and the side cover we'll move on to clean these cylinders up now
and let's see if she'll go. guys so at the, now you see I can actually let it sit here and run for 20 25 30 minutes and get it really good and warm give it some gas and make sure it's taken in like it's supposed to uh, it's it's basically gaining the RPMs that you're looking for on these motors and so uh, it's gonna be a really good break-in process uh, especially for the main purpose of being able to find the leaks that might be happening or uh, you know having possibly a bad rings on one side so I mean it just could help out with anything like that so uh, hope you guys get enjoy. It loaded back up in his crate over there and, uh, bolt it back down to the crate questions about our engine service here just shoot us a comment give us a call uh, we'll be glad to answer any questions for you and guys don't forget don't forget to hit that subscribe button like and share these videos for us get us out there we appreciate y'all god bless